Hello my friends. First thing I'm going to do is throw a hurl bat to the head and we gonna make this zombie not our friend. Zombies, the bloodthirsty undead. When they arrive, will you survive? Zombie go boom. Kick undead ass. Hey, what's up, survivors? I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Fultz. Welcome to another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. I did that weird. Anyway, yeah. there's an episode on the channel which has over 6 million views. It showcases the hurl bat from Sharp Blades, and it basically looks like this, except smaller. Shout out to Adam Chaladine, man. You... I love you, dude. Now, we're not going to be using the Sharp Blades version today, but this is by Devil's Edge. And it's sold through Colts of Athena, and it's essentially that. It's the hurl bat from that episode, except a lot bigger. And again, it'll Whoa. stick even if you throw it like absolute garbage, which is exactly what happened there. The cool thing about that one is that the fact that it's heavier means that it has more penetration, and the fact that it's bigger means that it has uh it's just it's just a lot more dangerous when it comes to melee fighting would you would you agree yeah uh it's pretty scary mm -hmm. i mean to have a handle that's this short with a bunch of spikes that are this freaking long this close to your face it's not really a comfortable thing but it does its job you know <laughs> <laughs> what i tell you I, what I tell it you. always sticks it always sticks it doesn't matter like didn't even look. I actually tried to hit the target this okay. time. Just okay. to really show him that anybody can do it. That was awesome. It feels good. It's solid. You were doing a no look? I mean, I didn't aim. Right? See? But see, it's stuck. It even stuck yeah. on the ground. Whoa! Oh, well, that's on the fence. <laughs> Are you ready to get started, Charles? I'm always ready! Let's do this! Alright, so now it's the time for the plan of attack. First thing I'm gonna do is throw this thing. The last time you guys saw a hurl bat, we used the hurl bat from Adam Chelladine. So big shout out to Adam Chelladine. He's fighting cancer right now. If you don't know who he is, he's five time world champion knife thrower, specializes in no spin knife throwing. And you can check out his channel in the link below. And this is for you, Adam. Left, left of target. Hit the orbit this time. Not quite a kill. I'm gonna go again. Right of target. We're taking out quite a bit of flesh and bone. We're just not getting a good shot. It was interesting. There it is. Hell yeah. 
Hell yeah, baby! That's a kill. So, basically, if you do the throw properly, it's a kill. So, user error, you end up with a lot of really horrible injuries, which probably wouldn't do anything to a zombie, but if you're fighting a survivor or attacker person, a raider, then uh, it would it would be enough to put them on the ground and have them be in horrendous pain. But if you actually get a good throw, I mean, this cuts through a ridiculous amount. And I didn't even throw it that hard, but look, look how much bone it cut through. This head right here is a little thicker than we normally do and it cut right through all of that bone. It's uh, pretty phenomenal. Now I really want to see how well it does as a melee weapon and for that we got this guy right here. Who? Oh, hey. You. <laughs> oh, me. Oh, yeah. Cool. All right, now we're doing melee attacks. I'm gonna start out with this spike right here to the side of the skull and see how it works. There we go. Look at that. Yeah. Yep. One hit kill, baby. It's pretty good. Pretty good sized hole there. Dang. Yeah. It's just from like a little tap. There. That was a tap? Basically. Okay. Because whenever you use this weapon uh, to do melee strikes, there's no scales on the handle, so the, the shock from the metal goes straight into your hand. So you don't want to hit too hard. You could wrap it, too, if you really want to. But, yeah. I'm guessing the shock won't be as bad when we use the bladed side, so why don't we just go crazy? Alright, let's do it. Gosh. Yep. Yeah, not not as much shock. Come around to this side. Not as much shock when you use the actual edge side. Good. And I knew that was going to be the main weapon for this thing. And is it really stuck? Not that bad. Not that bad. I just thought it looked close. Oh my god, yeah. No, I mean that's, that's it's vicious. <laughs> Phil Swift, baby. <laughs> Let's do a decap. You want to do it? Do I? Yeah. All right. You yeah. Never, you never get to do decaps. All right, I'll do a decap. Just chop the hell out of it. Wow. Halfway. It's bleeding, so it means it got through the spinal cord. Let's go again. That's a half decap. Yeah. Get it. Yeah. All right, not the smoothest decapitation, but heck, it'll do it. And yeah, I was getting a lot of vibration, so it's probably a good idea to wrap it before you use it. Wrap your tool, don't be a fool. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, this thing definitely kicks a lot of ass. If you want to own your own, there is a link in the description to Cult of Athena, and you help support the show. 10,000 likes would be awesome. If you like this video, please do that. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, as Corridor Digital says, and definitely consider subscribing to Adam Cheladine. Link is also in the description below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching Zombie Go Boom. We would not be able to do this without you. You guys are the reason why we do it, and let us know what you want to see in the comments section. And with a no, oh, cut myself.
<laughs> with another mind-blowing episode from Zombie Go Boom. I'm Chuck Murray. I'm Charles Fultz. And we'll see you next time.